All right, real quick, I'm going to demonstrate how to change the resolutions for the raw or the Pro Raw uh, in the camera app on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. So we go over here into settings and we scroll down here to camera. If we find the location here that called formats and down here is where you'll find both the Pro Raw uh, for photos and then you'll find the apple pro res for the video so i'll kind of cover both of these here real quick so uh first you obviously have to turn the switches on to enable the feature uh, but you now have the ability for the resolution for the uh, raw photos so you can choose jpeg max up to 48 megapixels which is a compressed 48 megapixel raw photo sort of but not really raw um, and then you have Pro Raw 12 megapixel, and then you have Pro Raw Max, uh, which is 48 megapixels. And typically, if you're someone like me that's a photographer and shoots lots of photos, and if you're going to be using the raw format, you're pretty much going to want the highest resolution possible for post processing and editing and such. So uh, you do have those three options, but in my case, I like to just do the maximum possible here. Uh, so there's that. And then real quick, to touch on the ProRes section, uh, you have now the ability for different recording formats with the ProRes uh, video recording. And you can choose either HDR, standard uh, definition, which is SDR, or the new option, which is now called Log, which effectively Log is a basically a raw video format file more or less uh, that has no almost no color to it and no processing applied via apple's um, isp within the phone so there's no noise reduction applied there's no image processing applied it's basically just a basic straight out of the camera video with nothing applied what that allows you to do is you can take that log video into say a editor such as Final Cut Pro or something on your computer and you can color grade it and make the video look how you effectively want it to and you can apply your own sharpening and your own uh, noise reduction if you wish uh, so that's cool uh, but getting back to the Pro Raw option here uh, if we go into the photos app now um, up at the top right next to the live photo button you now see a little button there called Raw Max so when you turn that on uh, you're now going to be taking full um, 48 megapixel raw photos as long as you're using the primary sensor. If you're using any of the other lenses, say you have the ultra wide at oh, 0.5x, uh, the cropped in 2x, or the uh, telephoto 5x on the Pro Max, uh, those will all be 12 megapixel raw photos because those sensors do not have the 48 megapixel on them. Uh, so it's only for the 1x main sensor. And so if you go to take a picture, you can see it processes it a little bit on the shutter button. And when you go to look at it, uh, you'll see, if we go out actually to the Photos app, you'll see on the top left right there a RAW indication letting you know that that picture is in RAW. And it lets you zoom really far in since there is a lot of detail to work with. So you can zoom really far in and kind of see some of the grain on this wood table here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, going back, um, you can also change the resolution uh, from the in the camera app as well. So you don't actually have to go back to the settings app right here to change the raw photo resolutions. Uh, you can indeed ju just do that from the photo app by holding down on the little raw icon. And it lets you choose from those three same options, the JPEG Max, the RAW 12 megapixel, or the RAW Max 48 megapixel. Now, you would, now if you're having the phone set up in the high efficiency format right here, that other option at the top will change to HEIF Max instead of JPEG, uh, which is the high efficiency format for images. Um, so... For those who want to use the high efficiency format, you can do that uh, and still get a raw photo via that format as well. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, but in my case, I like to stick to most compatible because I have a lot of older devices and stuff that I would like photos and videos to still 
play on rather than having them be encoded in the HEVC H265 video format or the HEIF image format. So um, anyway, uh, that is pretty much it for this quick video uh, demonstrating the raw resolutions on the new iPhone 15 series phones for this year. So hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.